remember? Extension, extension extension internal rotation, rotation valgus. Valgus. Very good. So, extension, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is grab her calcaneus, and I'm going to grab it from the outside, because that's going to give me the best control. Oh, I forgot to show you on Lockman's too. So remind me to show you the alternative Lockman's in just a moment. So if I take the outside of her calcaneus, that puts her in extension and puts her in tibial internal rotation, right? Third component? Valgus. Valgus, right? So to do that, we got our joint line marked. That's very convenient. All right, so I can just put my hand right over the joint line, and all I'm going to do is put a little bit of valgus and ease her into flexion and back into extension. Am I done? No, because you've got to repeat this over and over again. You'll get a lot of false negatives on this because patients will resist you, especially if they've had trauma recently. So all the muscles are firing, and you've just got to work back and forth, and you're asking how's the wife and kids, and just talking to them, and you repeat the test several times and there is a definitive clunk at about 30 to 40 degrees of flexion which is the knee reducing so this subluxes this reduces by means of the other tip of band right talked about that this morning Does anybody here know that they have a pivot shift we'll find out in a couple minutes reverse pivot shift I found in the literature that it's both an ACL and a PCL test. Some texts say it's PCL, some texts say it's ACL. I think it can be either. I don't think you can be definitive with it, but it also is a functional predictor. And I have a pretty good idea because I did my Lockman's test, which is a pretty accurate test earlier, right? So what's a reverse pivot shift? Most the opposites, right? Except for the valgus. So I'm going to put her in flexion. This time, instead of grabbing her foot from the outside, I'm going to grab it from the inside. All i got to do is give a little tug on her calcaneus, and now she's in tibial external rotation, right? And it's harder when you've got a big guy. I understand that. But So I've got her in external rotation. I've got her in flexion. I'm not doing anything now. Add a little bit of valgus and run around. And usually people have an easier time with this because it's easier to lower the leg than it is to lift the leg as far as your clinical applications. And I hope we have somebody that has a positive because once you see, when you, you're going to hear on a bunch of normal knees, and hers is actually a very nice mechanism. Everything moves very smoothly back and forth. Once you see it, you'll know it.